All right, in this video, we'll do another example of finding a derivative by using the chain rule. So here, we're going to find the derivative of x squared minus 1 to the 4th over 2 minus 6 times x plus 7 to the 4th. And the first thing I'm going to do is just rewrite this a little bit. So g of x, uh, I'm just going to pull the over 2. I'm going to write that out front as a 1 half. And then we still have x squared minus 1 to the 4th minus 6 times x plus 7 to the fourth power. And now I'm going to take the derivative. So g prime of x. So the 1 half just gets carried along. Okay, so when we do the derivative of x squared minus 1 to the fourth, it'll be like our first example. The 4 will come out front. We'll leave all the stuff on the inside alone. We'll take 1 away from the exponent. And now we have to multiply by the derivative of the exponent, uh, or excuse me, the derivative of the inside. Um, so the derivative of the inside part, we have the exponent of 2. So x squared minus 1, when we take the derivative of x squared, we'll just get 2x to the first. And then the derivative of the minus 1 is just 0. So there's the derivative of the x squared minus 1 to the fourth. We'll get 4 times x squared minus 1 cubed times 2x. And now we'll have to do uh, the derivative of the other part. So the minus 6 just comes along. Um, again, the same thing. We have this exponent of 4. So the 4 will come out front. We'll leave the stuff on the inside alone. We'll take 1 away from our exponent to make a 3. And then we take the derivative of the stuff on the inside. Well, the derivative of 1x is just 1. The derivative of the constant uh, 7 would just give us a 0. So that's now our derivative. So I'm going to clean this up a little bit. Notice we have a 1 half times a 2, so those will just cancel out. Uh, we're left with a 4. I'm going to write the x out front. Then we have x squared minus 1 cubed. Um, and then on our second term, we have 6 times 4, which will give us 24. And then we would be left with x plus 7 raised to the third power. And at this point, um, there's nothing really anymore, I think. You, you know, you could factor a 4 out, but there's no uh, sort of variables in common. So I would probably leave it right there, and that would be my derivative.